In this presentation, we will discuss a responsibility accounting system. When considering a responsibility accounting system, we are imagining our organization. We are decentralizing our organization. We're putting different managers in charge of different segments, different areas of that organization, giving them more responsibility. As we do so, we're going to assign the responsibility to particular managers, and we're going to hold them accountable for different items those items being the controllable items. So we're going to assign what is it going to be a controllable cost versus an uncontrollable cost by the responsibility units, by the managers to the managers that are in charge of those units, of those segments, of those divisions of the organization. Remember that a controllable cost is one a manager has the power to determine or at least significantly affect the amount incurred. So we're thinking about those costs where management has control over them even if a cost is assigned to a, a specific area or division or is used by that division if the department manager within the division isn't having control over it then we don't want to use it as a performance measure of the performance of that particular manager we're going to use it for other types of, of decision making purposes for that particular unit for that particular segment but when evaluating the performance of a manager, the responsibility of a manager, we only want to, we only want to include those costs which are controllable.